It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Bucks and the Cowboys on Sunday night. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Tonight, it's the Sunday night opener for the new NFL season between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Dallas Cowboys. I'm Brandon Gordon, joined by Charles Davis up in the booth for the first week of the 2022 NFL season. A great game awaiting us in this primetime showdown, CD. You've got two teams with eyes on going to and winning a Super Bowl here this season. Week one, these two getting together. Cowboys, Tampa Bay should be a lot of fun. They thought that they could win it all last year, got to the playoffs, and were eliminated by teams that really figured heavily in the Super Bowl contention. Let's go ahead and start with Dallas. They ended up losing a home to San Francisco, who went to the NFC title game against the Rams who beat Tampa in the playoffs. We have a red zone situation brewing. This defense on their heels a little bit as they get set to defend a first and 10 with the ball at the 16. Prescott looks to throw on first. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And now, meanwhile, after the dust settles on the fumble, well with fingers crossed here first quarter of a new season already an injury and while they attend to him we'll step aside hey, hey. now after the fumble recovery it's Brady they shakes him off They're able to shake him off but now he's swallowed up and taken down Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Didn't have the greatest field position to start, did they? And now after this sack, it's way worse. And right off the bat, first play of the game. Sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. This is caught by Evans and way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Brady to throw. And this would complete to Will Fuller. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. Fuller's 2021 season never really got started, appearing in only two games and making just four catches. He's hitting reset for his seventh NFL season and trying to build on his career best stats from 2020. That'll be a first down for the former first rounder. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. A really good pickup of 28 yards. This is shaping up to be a really nice-looking drive to get the season underway here. And how long do you think that they actually have been plotting this drive? I'm talking about the coaching staff, right? They've been thinking about this for a while now, and I think they're executing it even better than what they expected. A first red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and ten. And this is caught by Evans. It'll go as a gain of four. And that's going to bring up second down.
It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Tom Brady keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Bucs are on the board here first in the season opener. I'd have to say we're all a little bit surprised there because at his age with his speed, or should I say lack thereof, the only rushing touchdowns I would expect are on quarterback sneaks. But here, he found all of his guys covered, and he said, why not? And by the way, if that doesn't fire up your team to see the veteran like that risking his body for the touchdown, I don't know what will. A pretty big early test for the defense coming up. What can they dial up here to try and thwart this third down situation? After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. Here's Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 16. A gain of 22. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Akeem Hicks that time on the tackle. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They go to Elliott again. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Throwing, Prescott. Open, and Lamb, it's complete. And the Cowboys are gonna have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You gotta make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. A chance for their first points of the season here as it's first and goal. Elliott. Going to be stopped before he can get moving forward as he'll lose a couple back to the five-yard line. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. They'll try again with Elliott. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. 
A tough time to take the sack. Now it's fourth and goal, and that's a loss of six. That's quite a stand there defensively. A huge sack on third down, and that's going to force him into a field goal attempt. Austin Seibert sets up for the field goal try. This is a 26-yard attempt. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. Got to say, Charles, a little surprising to have a kick this short blocked. Usually that happens on the longer ones, but great job by the special teams to kind of sift through there and get a hand on it. Yeah, you've seen a lot of football over time, partner, and you're right about it. Typically, the longer field goals start lower because they have so much more ground to cover to get to the post. And that's when you get a hand on it. These short ones, you're able to pop it. In this game. So not much left here before we reach halftime as the offense is out there now hoping to put together a scoring drive before they head to the locker room. Brady now on first down. And this one caught downfield by Evans. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. But he reminded us that he was a 1,000-yard receiver a year ago as he starts off week one picking up right where he left off. He told us at the end of the preseason he was primed for a big year. He just gave us excellent evidence of his belief. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago, followed it up with another nice one here, and before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Buccaneers go up by two touchdowns. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. Time to jump back in. Opening drive, third quarter. And this offense has it in the red zone, first and 10. Brady now on first down. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Will Fuller, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Buccaneers are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Oh, such great concentration there, going right up against the side of the end zone, but able to get the feet in bounds. There are so many things that go into that catch, and you just mentioned the concentration, being able to catch the football, get your feet down in bounds, hang on to it all the way through the process of the catch. That was a phenomenal play. So the situation, it's third down in the third quarter, and this defense just trying to get the ball back to their offense. 
to get back in this contest. Quick throw, finding Mike Evans. And he is going to have a box first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Throughout his career, Tom Brady has made a living with a quick pass, hasn't he? How about that one? A little slant inside. And I think his arm's gotten stronger throughout his career, too. Yeah. You can just see one of many examples of why he's made more trips to the Super Bowl than any other quarterback. Footwork, intelligence, competitiveness. Wait, that Into the red zone, it's Brady. Touchdown! Mike Evans. Already his second touchdown here this opening weekend. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Well, Charles, no matter what the prognosticators say before the season, whether they think you're going to be good, bad, or somewhere in the middle, you never quite know how week one is going to play out. But for them, it has been an impressive performance, and they are well on their way to a 1-0 start. Yeah, it's a lot like opening up. A big play has this offense in prime position to get six points. They'll have a first and goal hey. upcoming from the five. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Leonard Fournette. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Well, CD, I mean, simply put, if anyone around the league wasn't paying attention to them to start the season, they will be heading into week two. This has been an impressive week one performance. They've certainly announced... Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. What a methodical drop. down carry and they'll bring him down at the 13 yard line 45 yards rushing for him now to this point that's a strong pickup right there on first down and as this drive goes on we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will six yards on that last play here's second and four they'll run it here with Bernard seven yards on the pickup there and now they'll have it first and goal Oh, lots of praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL is a great road win. I mean, it just does not matter whether it's supposed to be tough or not. In this particular situation, how great will they feel leaving with a win on the road against a tough opponent? A little work still to do, though. Nothing to lose now. This offense forced to go for it. Down a bunch here in the fourth quarter. Desperation time. Prescott on fours. Flushed out right. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Buccaneers defense holds and they get the football back. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. And we shift to spotlighting Mike Evans. Oh, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone.
Throwing on first down is Brady. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Evans. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down inside the 15. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. And even 50 yards. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout. And actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Well, when they said before the game that they were going to try and execute every second of this contest, I, I guess that that was taken literally because here they are in the final moments of the fourth, putting another touchdown on the board, Charles, to add to this big lead. I'm not a big believer in 110%. But it certainly applies here, doesn't it? Because some guys just can't go with less. As long as there's time left on the clock, they're pushing to get to the end zone one more time. They don't really care about what the optics show. They just want to finish the game off the way that they like to play it. Full speed, all out. Extra point up and good by Suckham. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. This one will come out to the 25 as Pollard is going to elect not to return it. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And no doubt this is not the way that they had hoped to open their season. Thoroughly outplayed here in front of the national audience. Meanwhile, Dax throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Prescott now. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. One last shot now for Prescott. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. So fire the cannons. It's a victory here for Tampa Bay. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was that they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, up a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So for the Buccaneers, you can't ask for a better start as they pitch a shutout here in the opener. And they'll get another road test next week as they have to go to New Orleans to take on the Saints.